Thank you for joining us today for talk and discussions. In this part of the project, Sleeping for Tomorrow, we'll meet different people around the world, sharing with us their opinion, ideas, and thoughts about the changing of our time and their hope for the future. Thank you for joining us for our talk with Jae Han, an artist and a curator from South Korea, living in Germany. He studied art and philosophy in Seoul and in Sydney, and media art at the Udika Berlin. He's living in the Upper Bavaria and working in Berlin, Munich, and Seoul. Jehan deals with the topic of boarding and boarding crossing in the sense of open identity. His main topic of his work are the political effect of democracy systems and the consequences of the Cold War. In 2005, he initiated the International Artist Group Global Alliance. And in 2015, he curated the show Bended Images at the NDBK Berlin. From 2021, he was initiating the exhibition A5, Art and Democracy. He is the first chairman of Art5, a nonprofit organization consisting of international group of artists, curators, and theorists for the promotion of the cultural dialogue between Europe and Asia. Thank you for joining us for this talk, Jehan. Thank you for inviting me. The topic of your work as an artist and a curator is dealing with border and border crossing in the sense of open identity. Can you tell us what does it mean for you? The border, border crossing and open identity means it's uh, a different identity because I'm from South Korea and uh, I was grew up in uh, Gyeongju in South of uh, South Korea and uh, and for the study in Seoul and uh, after that I came in Germany and Berlin and between the end time I was in Australia and different countries so. Whenever I visit different uh, cities and uh, had a ex different experience, uh, I got a different identity. So that's why I say always like different identity, open identity. For you, when you are talking about the Cold War, you're talking about South Korea and North Korea, but you came and live in Germany and we had the war and the separation between the East and the West. And I wanted to know for you as an artist and a curator, is there a connection between these two topics and how your work is connected with political issues? I'm the generation of uh, Cold War. So maybe like you. So uh, Korea is a still divided country um, and South and North Korea. So um, the tension the, between the South and North Korea is always like uh, it's better and different, uh, difficult. And uh, so my time, my child put uh, 70, 80 in the time was the tension was very high. So between the North and South, South Korea. So uh, my uh, experience at the time was like the propaganda, the political propaganda from the North Korea also and South Korea is very high and uh, sensitive. And uh, I think it's like, this is the, um, um, experience and at them the time was uh, very interesting for me and uh, it was also influenced like uh, for me and uh, artists way. This is also one very important thing uh, that I came here in Germany because uh, Germany was divided in West and East and uh, I really interested how is in Germany and before and after this. So uh, I living here in Germany and uh, the big city and all, also on countryside, I've uh, got a lot of uh, different uh, images and different uh, social effects 
from the uh, after the uh, uh, the Cold War situation. So first time um, my artist work as an artist and curating stuff was very uh, similar. So um, it was uh, the the curating uh, work was like my artist work and the artist work was like in curating. So it was uh, not a separate, it's the same uh, direction. First project as an artist and curator was like uh, the open identity and uh, the border issue was the main issue. So, and uh, what the deal was like uh, uh, the border issue. And I worked also with different uh, artists and uh, it was uh, artist collective work. Uh, I start with um, uh, called um, Global Alien, which is like a artist group name. So uh, we started to start the, uh, after my study in Berlin. So, um, our main issue was, uh, as I said, border and the open identity. We are very mixed. We are like uh, different, we are from the different countries. Uh, our main member from Germany, but we are different backgrounds. Uh, I'm from South Korea, Toby from Denmark, and uh, uh, Jakob from uh, Germany. And uh, other members are also from South Korea, Japan, uh, very mixed. And we were 12 members. So we are very uh, from different countries. Global Aliens uh, still working. I'm not, not right now in Global Aliens member because we had a difference like uh, ideas. I want to more like a uh, political way, political more uh, detail. And uh, that's why I focus on the um, more like um, political uh, art way. There was a big issue before 2015, it was the South Korea. Uh, there was an election. Um, the South Korea uh, got that time new president. Uh, her name is uh, Park Geun Hye. She got the uh, candidate um, uh, from the uh, Conservative Party in South Korea. South Korea. Um, uh, as like a two big um, party system, uh, similar like uh, America, so Democratic Party and the Republicana. So it's like in Korea also um, one uh, liberal progressive party and the other party is like um, conservative party. And the Park Geun Hye, the president is daughter of a uh, former military detector. So president who called uh, Bak Jung Hee was uh, 60, 70. Uh, he is a kind of a symbol of the um, successful um, economical way bring to uh, in the South Korea in different way uh, during the uh, Vietnam War times. Korea had it in Bak Jung, he has two different identity. One thing is like, okay, he is hero of uh, the economic, uh, uh, successful economy. And the other side uh, is like uh, devil, like uh, the, because, because of the uh, detectorship. But Geun Hye, uh, she won the election present election is uh, came later so as like present so she uh, um, got the prison because of a scandal after that the, the South Korean political was very uh, changed a lot uh, after election Park Jung Park Geun Hye uh, before 2015 slowly moved to uh, a lot of Korean, South Korean, got the, uh, uh, oh, it's something 
long, you know, this uh, South Korean, this all political system and uh, social system. And uh, that's why they bring the people uh, on the street and uh, they get the demonstration and, uh, and check the, or up a lot of us go on the street and uh, it was candle uh, demonstration. So it was very famous in the world at that time. And uh, Park geun got the uh, scandal and uh, she got the uh, prison that time. And uh, she is now in pre, uh, but the, uh, the, after there was uh, a lot of changes. The election was 2014 and the 15 and culture side, a lot of the exhibition against the political, the, against the uh, conservative uh, mm -hmm. political uh, wave in South Korea. So I got the, um, and this um, ch political change was uh, motivate me to bring more like focus on the uh, political way and uh, more issue bring the, uh, uh, how we can say or strong image, bring the strong image to the, uh, how important is in demo democracy in the in this uh, country and uh, so i as uh, organization make exhibition at that time 2015 in berlin uh ngbk the is association and um uh very political exhibition space in berlin well-known exhibition space and uh the which the exhibition Bandit images uh, called this exhibition. The important thing is um, there's um, three countries: South Korea, Japan, and uh, Taiwan, which we know uh, as like a symbol of democracy. And but we didn't know the in these countries, there's also uh, censorship and uh, political difficult uh, the reaction and uh, about the um, symbol of uh, the protests, for example. Uh, at that time was South Korea um, was, uh, it's like a little bit similar, like very, um, the. Uh, Taring Party and then Castle Documenta in this time, this uh, Castle Documenta 15 is a very also a uh, very political uh, images uh, and uh, it protests uh, work, artwork. And uh, South Korea has also um, a political at the time uh, produced a lot of uh, political images as from the art scenes. So uh, the art, this art, uh, was very important to bring the uh, freedom of speech for the against the um, uh, conservative. Um. For example, there was one big uh, political banner artwork from uh, Hong Song Dam invited 2014 in South Korea in Gwangju Biennale. Gwangju Biennale is the international art. Uh, Biennale, well-known at uh, Biennale, first Biennale in Asia, and uh, after that was big scandal because uh, it's uh, it's you know as you saw it's uh, censorship, and uh, th there was nothing to expel explain it uh, why the bill uh, have to hang out you know so. Um, there was one symbol is like uh, a uh, the images of a uh, present Park geun and he covered after that because of the uh, you know we can't show like our present images in, in our build, uh, our images in artwork and uh, even if they covered in these images uh, also an issue because there was like a uh, chicken head and chicken head in Korea means like um, it's censorship. It was censorship. And uh, after scandal in South Korea, we, South Korean police, 
took the uh, information about the scandalship and it was blacklist. This artist Hong Song Dam was blacklist number one. So uh, there is a uh, the Park Geun controlled a lot of uh, art artists. There was uh, like uh, at least one hundred artists name. Uh, for example, the very famous uh, art director the Park Chan Wook, for example, it was also blacklist and a lot of artists, uh, the visual artists and uh, musician, and for example, theater. And that's why it was very symbolic and important. Uh, this is in South Korea area. And uh, so in Japan, well, uh, we invited uh, a um, art piece, for example, is uh, in Tokyo uh, Metropolitan uh, Museum. They invited one in, uh, installation, uh, Nagagaki, uh, his name, or the, the artist's name is Nagagaki's work is uh, took out because of the um, yeah, censorship and uh, the critical uh, images of the Japanese uh, Second World War. We invited uh, all include six art artist position. Uh, the South Korea, the, there's a two uh, artist position. They get the problem in, in South Korea they, because of the control. They send the uh, uh, exhibition of the artwork. So we uh, had an exhibition without art piece. The, these two positions made a um, uh, world painting. So, you know, different, very similar images, but there are different contexts in it. So it was new work. Because we, you know the Berlin was like uh, the yeah censorship and uh, I never think about this in South Korea there was like uh, this is a democratic country how it's happened like this like this uh, horrible stuff yeah you, know, you know so that's why we invited uh, the uh, different uh, press newspaper and uh, in radio casting and uh, you know there was always the cold war system is one thing uh, there's anger and devil you know the people change different okay there's in one country this uh, kind of uh, uh, symbol of uh, democracy in this country South Korea can be also in the side of uh, devil and uh, uh, it can always like uh, can change it. And uh, there was a lot of audience. There was a lot of uh, people uh, came our exhibition and show check it out and everything. And uh, um, and this discussion uh, how is important like our freedom of speech and the uh, also um, the symbol of this artwork, uh, how did it, we can keep it out. And uh, uh, also uh, thinking about the censorship. Sleep.